The aim of our imaging centre is to develop the new imaging techniques of the future. We have 11 state-of-the-art imaging devices which give us a completely unique view of the body or the brain. We're able to look for holes in the heart that are the size of a human hair or investigate the subtle changes that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. Nuclear imaging is a truly multidisciplinary, multimodal technique. It brings together groups of biologists, chemists and mathematicians. Here, we're able to tag small molecules or cells or antibodies with radioactivity, which can be detected as they pass around the body, highlighting a cancer or perhaps epilepsy as they light up cells or molecular processes on the way. Light enables us to see the world around us. But often in our lab, we want to take images of things that are invisible to the human eye because they are inside the body and therefore they receive no light. Jellyfish are transparent because they have evolved a way to absorb light and emit a narrow band of blue light, which we call fluorescence. Light sheet microscopy is a scientific technique which uses this transparency and fluorescence from jellyfish it allows us to see the biological processes occurring inside the living tissue. By making the sample transparent, we can deliver light in and we can receive light out. Sugar in the form of glucose is found in various foods and it's a primary source of energy for biological tissue. We are now using glucose in a cutting edge MRI technique to detect cancer. This technique selectively images areas of the body based on glucose uptake. Tumours tend to be quite energy hungry and grow much faster than normal tissue, using up more glucose and also have a rich supply of blood vessels. By detecting glucose, we can illuminate the tumour in the scanner, producing high contrast images. This method is safe and could potentially be used in hospitals for cancer imaging simply by giving the patient a sugary drink whilst in the MRI scanner. Ultrasound is now fueling the next generation of medical imaging technologies. The photoacoustic imaging system at UCL combines the principles of ultrasound with optical imaging. Shining light into a sample triggers thermal expansion within pigments like haemoglobin, and ultrasound is emitted. This technique is great for imaging blood flow networks and tumour vasculature with applications in cancer therapy. With photoacoustic imaging, we can monitor things like vascular disrupting agents, which are a new type of cancer therapy in order to sort of visualise the breakdown of blood flow networks within tumours.